Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We have our pint glass by the Stonehammer Brewing Company, or FNM Brewery. Uh, nice pint glass, my bad. And we'll be drinking Lakeport Honey Lager. Lakeport Honey Lager is 5% alcohol. Lakeport has a storied history behind it. Lakeport, at one point, was a craft brewery. At one point, it was a craft brewery that only crafted cheap beers that weren't driven just for profit, that were driven for the consumer. Now, why do I keep saying at one point? Because in 2007, Lakeport in Hamilton, Ontario, was sold to, to Amheuser-Busch. To be specific, to the Labatt branch of the Amheuser-Busch InBev company. $207 million for a budget beer company. Why? Because this budget beer company almost had one-fifth of the beer market in Ontario, the only province it was sold in. In 2010, Labatt closed the Hamilton Brewery moved production of Lakeport to London, Ontario, to one of their breweries there. That building is still technically owned by Labatt. They will not allow it to be sold to another brewery. I know, as much as I don't like them, the Boxer and Boxer Ice Company by the Minhas offered them, I think it was $130 million to buy the brewery so that they had an Ontario-based brewery to start brewing out of so they could sell their beer even cheaper. They were told no, so the building still stays vacant because Labatt does not want another company in that building. Anyway, how is a Lakeport Honey now that Labatt's taking it over? I used to drink this every once in a while. I mean, it wasn't a good beer, but it wasn't a bad beer. It was this and their Pilsner were their two, uh, two most popular brands. Now, that's not even the full can. It is a light honeyish color. It has two fingers ahead. The head starts right at the head bubble like it should on this glass. It looks nice. There's not too, too much carbonation in there. There is a good deal, but not too much. The head's already starting to fade. Not too quickly, but it's starting. I mean, it'll probably be gone in about 20 seconds. Uh... There's a big hole starting in the middle. Now, Lakeport's slogan has always been Lakeport. Great beer, fair prices. Lakeport was also one of the very first $24 two fours that put their name on it. Most of them would just be something like, I don't know, uh, Honey Blogger would just be his name. It wouldn't be Lakeport Honey Blogger because Lakeport was a name, and no company wanted to put their name on it back then. Now every company does it, Laker does it, Red Baron, every, everybody puts their name on their stuff now. Let's be honest, it doesn't smell good. You used to get some honey sweetness to it. I haven't drank one of these since Lakeport was sold. I know, well that's a lie, I haven't drank one of these since about a year after Lakeport was sold. At that point, it still kind of tasted like what it did originally. Uh, now, not so much. Uh, you get a slight bit of hoppy bitterness, a slight bit of sweet malt, and the rest is corn and dirty water. I don't get any honey. Even from the bottle, I can't get a honey scent. Not uh, well, the can. But, I mean, you can get over the smell of it tastes good. Does it taste good? I can't say it tastes horrible. I can't say it tastes great either. I mean, we're looking at a beer that is meant to be a cheap beer. And they have adjuncts added to it already. Now, when it was just Lakeport, there was probably still adjuncts in it. I mean, let's not deny the fact this was a cheap beer that was still meant to make some profit. But... Now, you can taste them. 
Anheuser Busch just seems to be all about the profit margins. I can't really blame them. I mean, they've turned beer making into a science to make every single batch of beer the same, and every crop you get is going to be different. Beer was never meant to be the same every single time, and I know that's the main complaint people have with small batch beers. It's not the same every time, but beer was never meant to be the same every single time. Potatoes are never the same every single time. Uh, carrots are never the same every single time. Unless it's genetically engineered, it's not the same every time. It's... <sighs> Sorry about the rant. I'm going to try to go back to the beer. Uh... Slight bit of sweetness on it, malty sweetness. Get a tiny touch of honey. I wouldn't say it's bee honey. I'd say probably clover honey. Uh, but I mean, to me, I always laugh about honey. I always make jokes about honey that honey is just bee shit. I know it's not really just bee shit, but if you think about it, honey's kind of just like bee shit. This tastes like shit. Like bee shit. Ugh. I know a lot of people still drink Lake Port honey. I stopped drinking it as soon as it was, well, as I said, a little while after it was sold. It's not good anymore. It's not bad. I still can drink it. You don't really get an offensive taste in your mouth. You don't really get a good taste in your mouth, but there's nothing really offensive about it. It's kind of like water. Water with a slight bit of sweetness and a slight bit of bitterness at the end. The carbonation is kind of like flat Sprite Zero. How do I know that? Because I just had some flat Sprite Zero this morning. I mean, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I can drink it. I just don't want to. I mean, even for cheap beers, I can find better beers out there. Now, I might not be able to find a cheaper, better honey lager, but if I want a cheaper beer, I can find it. Well, a better cheap beer. Because I'm not going to find anything cheaper in Ontario. But I can find a better cheap beer than this out there. So I'm giving this a 5 out of 10. It's, it's not a bad drink. It's not something that you're going to get disgusted by drinking. It's just... It's not a good drink either. 